Surely, my sire, you see the folly in the king's errand? For if we all perish looking for this imaginary chalice, then what kingdom shall he inherit to rule? I have lost everything. In a blink and it was gone. All I have left is this, this one thing. Oh, it goes beyond sworn duty. For if this cup is tangible, if I can somehow find it and hold it in my hands, then perhaps I, unlike Job, can come to understand this, this lot which God has bestowed upon me. What? Oblivion? There's nothing here! And even if we find this chalice, it won't bring the warmth of your lady back to your bosom. Abandon the king's quest. For the king's obsession will be his ruin and our deaths. And you, Maris, do you step in league with Percival? Or do you still swear allegiance to our king? Well, loyalty, it seems, reaches only as far as the last coin in a man's purse. And thus ends the age of heroes. You two should be stripped of your swords and titles. You make me sick. You know, if I do happen upon the king's chalice out here, I doubt I shall meet my end. When I return, the king shall know what cowards you were. Thus, I found myself wandering in the bleak wilderness, utterly alone. Or so I thought. Spoke. 
peering down at me, he spoke words not of this earth. I can save you from this dearth of light. Oh, you shall know the gnashing of teeth, as was prophesied by Saint John. For on this twilight, I shall either devour you alive, or take you under my wing as my apprentice. Of course, it was then that I realized he was not a shadow at all. Instead, well, the rest is history. I unfortunately succumbed to the fear of, well, I guess my faith was weak. <laughs>